So let's now open this patch with such a sequencer. To make this sequencer active, I just press on this button and this will trigger the start of a sequencer. Now the sliders are used here to change the time between events. Each slider defines the length of each step. In total sum we have 8 steps and we can control the length of each of those steps individually. Like this we can create quite nice grooves and non-linear rhythms. And with this button I can stop the sequence. So this is how you can work with Monolith when you connect it to Max.